Hi, welcome back. This is Arish from jtechtips.com and this is a video series on Android programming. In this video, we will have a look at implicit intents and intent resolution. When we want to invoke a new activity from our app, we do it using intents. There are two ways we can invoke activity. One is explicitly specifying which activity class to start and the second way is only specifying the action. This is required because not every time we know the activity class that needs to be started. For example, if I want to open a link in a browser, we do not know which activity class to open the browser. Or some other examples are to take a picture or dial a number, send an SMS to a number, etc. In this case, we use something called implicit intents. We only specify the action required and provide the data and Android decides which activity to start. This process is called intent resolution. As you can see, we from our activity we create an intent and provide the required action and provide the data and Android will decide which activity to load. If there is multiple activities that can perform a particular action, then it gives an option to the user to pick which activity to load. This, this is decided by Android based on two things. First is the intent itself, that is the desired operation and the data. Second thing is the intent filters that is defined in each activity in our phone. Every activity can define what are the things that that particular activity can do. For example, the default browser in our phone has an intent filter that says it can view it can perform a view action of type HTTP, HTTPS and so on. This is an example of creating an intent, providing the action view as action and the data is a URL. Let's look at a demo. I will create a new Android app, say intent demo, provide a package name and go through the wizard real quickly. Once this uh, app is created, we will go to our screen and add a button. I will give an ID like browser button. When we click on this button, we will open a browser by providing the URL. I will specify the string for this button. Quickly do this. Okay, so we have a button, we will go to our activity class and get reference to this button as we saw in earlier video, videos. And for this button, we will write a onclick listener. And we will provide the onClick method. When click, when this button is clicked, we will create an intent. My intent equals to new intent. And provide the action. The action is action underscore view. And second parameter for this constructor is the data of type URI. provide some URL and the next step is start the activity by using start activity method and providing the intent as parameter. Once done we will run this app. 
once the app starts we have a button when i click on this open browser android decides which app to load based on the data we provided and it starts a browser browser activity and passes the data we provided you can see a uh, browser is trying to load the website jtechnics.com When I click on back button, it goes back to our app. Let's look at the code once again. So I created an intent specifying the action that is action view, and next providing the data that is the URL to be opened, then calling start activity. Another example is to open SMS app that we can do using we use action called action send and the data we provide a scheme called sms2 and provide a phone number for testing purpose we provide some dummy number and run this app the app is getting deployed and it launches itself and now when i click on the button it throws an error saying no activity found that can handle this kind of intent that is action send sms2 i believe it is action view redeploy and test it now let's test this click on the button and this time android opens up the send message window i can type some text here say hello and this is basically sms app you can send sms to any number so what we did is we provided an intent we provide set the action as action view and we specify the number based on our scheme even though action is same in both cases action view based on the input data that is here is http scheme and in the second case is sms2 scheme based on that input data the different activity is loaded let's look at intent filters intent filter is used by app to specify what are the capability of a particular app as i mentioned earlier a browser will specify its action as action view and provides data like it can handle schemes of type http https or particular host only etc let's next create our own activity and specify intent filters to accept links of type http and we can see that if the if since we will have multiple activities which can handle http that is our own browser the default browser of the android phone and our own browser let's create a new activity you can go to new android activity use a blank activity provide the name like uh, my browser activity finish so our new activity is created we will have a string called uh, my browser define this string in the string xml this is our second activity which just takes a one text view i will go to android manifest file and we see android has added this activity tag when we created our activity and next we will add intent filters 
to specify that this activity can take care of HTTP requests. We can add intent filter tag and we provide the action as Android dot intent dot action dot view and we for next we'll provide the data Android scheme. This is a string we'll say HTTP. It is any request, any activity or any intent that specifies the action as view and HTTP is a scheme. Then our intent, our activity is capable of handling that. To define this activity as a activity that can handle other other requests from other activities, we need to put this in a category called default. The category dot category default. This is required by Android. So now we have defined our intent filter. And we will go back to our main activity on we'll click of the button. We will try to open a app, app that can handle HTTP URLs. Earlier we saw it opens our default browser. Now we have multiple activities that can handle HTTP requests like HTTP action views that is a default browser and our own browser. We will see how and Android handles this. I'll deploy our app. Our app is being launched. It will automatically start when it's deployed. So we have our app. I'll click on the open browser button. So Android has two activities that is the default browser and our own browser activity. So it asks user to pick any one of these. So I can select my browser and say it has an option like always open with this activity or just once. Click on just once. It opens our own activity that just says my browser. If I go back and again click on the button. Again Android asks for user selection. This time if I say default browser, it opens the browser that we earlier saw. To recap what we saw today, first we saw how to create an intent by providing an action and the data and Android will pick an appropriate activity. Then we created our own activity and specified our intent filters saying it can take care of action views of type data of type HTTP. This time Android asks user to select a particular activity. Thank you for watching. For more videos, please visit jtechnics.com.